Hello everyone and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. Since we're in Divinity's Reach, let's go ahead and take a little tour of the city. Uh, I apologize, my audio levels have been uh, low recently. Uh, the game audio itself, as you guys have probably seen, uh, is perfectly fine, but my microphone, for some reason, my computer decided to set it back down to like bare minimum like levels of picking up my voice. Should be fixed now, at least for a while. I think I had that problem a while back where it just randomly just feels like resetting to lower levels. But uh, anyway, it should be good now. So I do apologize. The past couple videos have been very quiet and uh, commentary wise, but I mean, it's still there. It's still audible and understandable and whatnot, but sadly, just very quiet. What's over here? <laughs> a boar, she's scared of a boar. I don't agree with that locking up animals just for show. It's terrible living conditions. Shame on you people. <laughs> this is one of those days, isn't it? I believe that's Melandrew. Aww. Young love. I think we start on this side. Whoop. So gorgeous. I would like to get more lore and the ball rolling on more god lore about the human gods, but sadly there's not much at the moment. Hopefully sometime soon we'll get something. Divinity's Reach is pretty cool. It's very straightforward and simple. The wild is at my back, and they call and aids me to my cause. This is an interesting area. Apparently it used to be uh, a Canthan district, but rumor has it that the company got in trouble because of the Asian drawings, influence, I don't know what how you'd want to say it. But needless to say, they got in trouble and they had to take it out. And so they, they just completely like scrapped the entire area and had a huge gaping hole and called it a uh, great collapse and there was not much about it there was I think a personal story mission where it talks a little bit about it but it was replaced by the Queen's Jubilee needless to say
I'm wondering when they'll bring the gauntlet back. Because that was pretty cool. Oh, and here's where the Royal Terrace Pass takes you when you use that. It instant travels you there. <laughs> and goes way down. the entrance. You go in there and then poof, you're supposed to go into the gauntlet. It's a great view. The architecture is really cool. I like it. Kind of like Ascalonian mixed with Crichton. There's a little bit of alone in here and there. Just a melting pot of human cultures. By Balthazar's hounds, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. How can I assist you? I'd like some directions. I'm going to check out some local flavor. I'm interested in the high roads. Ooh, mark the statue of the sun on my map. Thank you. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. And a very handy feature. Ah, here's the Alonin district. A random merchant. I wonder if they sell anything. Another beer. At least you have a job. You could be starving. Hard apple cider. Or I could be on the front lines. I get it. Cheers. But I'm not going to work thoughts. tomorrow until I'm good and drunk tonight. Head on his shoulders, yes. Fair now enough. we're you get exploring the city. Cider. Cool. 
that's either fresh water or sewage piping. <laughs> I hope it's fresh water. May Brent shield you. To gain something is to lose something. Even Grant's balance. Blessing has a cost. Swift and steady. Well guys, that'll end this episode of Guild Wars 2. Have fun, and play safe. <laughs>